Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every aspect of the Binding of Isaac series of video games, from trinkets to items and some things in between. I'm Gary Butterfield, and with me, as always, is a man who will sell you hormoners insurance, Will Hughes. Yay! Yay. Well, Gary, I'm just super excited to welcome everybody to Poetry Week here on Everything to Guppy. <laughs> we didn't come up with the same joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Gary, but well, no, we talked about this beforehand, right? I uh, <laughs> I sent you a text earlier today saying mm-hmm. that we were going to both write poetry about every uh, item this week. If you yeah, check your oh, text, yeah, yeah. you can you me, should see it right there. Let me check. I uh... because uh, we're just this is an arts show. I feel mm-hmm. like I feel like we're really exploring the human condition through the Binding of Isaac. In well, fact, especially really... in comparison to other nonsense on uh, Duckfeed, which yeah. is uncultured bullshit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I'm yeah. coming for you. Uh, what do I feel? Eh, teenage dirtbags. Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's a safe bet. Safe, safe, safe choice. So is the Dennis Furia. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we're really trying to grow hormones as people. Okay. Because we're talking about growth hormones today. Could you uh, read that text I sent you? Just Yeah. Let me... Uh... Let me pull it up. Just so we have the receipts on me establishing that we are both going to write poems for today's episodes. Yeah. Earlier today, like much earlier thing, you said, it poem, Tim. And and I said, what does that mean? And you said, I'm sorry, I thought you were Tim. And I said, no, and there's a whole thing. Yeah, it went on um, for what? 28, 20 more messages? I, something I feel like, like, that. like you forgot my name and it hurt. And then I we talked about it. And then you talked about how... Tim was another friend of yours that you did a podcast about, about, uh, Angaban, another rogue, uh, game back in the day. <laughs> no, 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 uh, uh, shit, uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore is, uh, the Dungeons one I did of Dreadmore? With, the one that I did was with the, Tim. I got the, the details confused. Anyway, Tim, was, what item are we you, talking about today? You talked, you talked a lot about your college podcast days. Um, we're talking about growth hormones. Yeah. <clears> uh, <throat> this is, uh, stat up. Uh, Mm -hmm. so not super exciting, but always welcome to see it in the game. It's a damage Mm -hmm. up. So hooray. Yep. So I'll always take it. Um, and a significant speed upgrade, Mm -hmm. uh, 0.4. So, uh, you know, again, you start at one and you max out at two. So, uh, two and a half of these and you're at max speed. Yep. Uh, gives one of the better cosmetic changes, uh, to Isaac, like just fucks him up. I like it when it's on its own, but anything else that changes his hair or helmet, Makes it clip through. Oh yeah, and I was like, "That's that's that." Then it ends up being unappealing. But on its own, I like it. It gives them just a bunch of gross tumors. Yeah, I have to assume the code that like controls that is borderline impossible to actually manage, given how many different things they have to juggle. Well, that's why they did, and we'll we'll talk about this in like season forty seven, the uh, the vanity. Mm-hmm. So you can actually just turn off cosmetic effects and cycle through them, which is a, a, I love that as an ease of use. Thing is, somebody kind of cares about the aesthetics. Yeah, I never do it. Um, I uh, I time, just time let time it time. let it fall as it does. Nothing wrong with that. Let it come what may. And so, Gary, uh, do you want to start by reading your poem about growth hormones that you wrote? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, Tim. <clears throat> no, yeah, it's a thank you. Um, and this this is untitled, mm-hmm. and it's also free verse. Oh boy, that's my favorite kind of poetry. Yeah, they're the best kind. Um, yeah, just the yeah. Uh, the bumper lanes of poetry. <laughs> this is a, like a what a what a brutal brutal uh, Walt Whitman burn. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Golden hue on morning. Do I do it? Do I tap the silver cylinder? Do I flick it with my nail like a bean? On the bed, in my heart, on the wedding night of me to myself. Do I flex in the mirror as I pass? When I look, do I see my chest sag? Do I see both pecs, like two bags of raw chicken, hanging, draped around my neck, Draper Farms? Or do I accept it with dignity? Do I pull them up? A decision reversed, undone. That's the end. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's part. Of, God damn it, Will. That's part of the poem. Fuck, 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 fuck. Poetry, you're so hard. I know. 
it's okay. But that actually was the end. Yeah. Uh, Gary, that was good enough that I uh, Googled to check if you were ripping someone off. Oh, well, thank you. So there's going to be tapping during your poem. Okay. Thank My- you. I just assumed you were transcribing it for the future generations. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I assume the fans are doing that. Uh, yeah. You can order transcripts of this podcast by sending a self-addressed <laughs> sealed envelope to Duckfeed. Yeah, transcripts yeah. provided by the Pew Research Fund. Uh, mm. All right, here's uh, here's mine. It's shorter. Uh, okay. Boy, I really feel inadequate now that you uh, came up with it on the spot. And I, I spent all... I, I've been working on it all day. That's right. I forgot the bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Growth hormone. You made this bad line at you. Yeah, fuck off. Uh as welcome and lovely as an arabesque, the chin it grants so Leno-esque. Do I re-roll? The answer now, of course, is yes. K- no, I don't, forsooth. I crave that DPS. So I'll dine on this needle how, al fresque. Oh, thank you, Purple Wonder. I want you more, not less. K- All right. Yeah. I wish I could snap. Yeah, uh, boy, I do too, buddy. Yeah, technically that poem might have been funded by uh the av club given that i did write it during work today <laughs> nobody tell matt girardi <laughs> um, the, um the, i feel like that's not telling tales out of school probably he, not. he's a guy yeah uh, the uh people have seen his name on there um i liked your poem a lot i feel like i liked your poem more than I liked mine will i've got another segment because this is just a stat up yeah uh, I mean, I, I I enjoy this item. I don't re- as as I am oh, now yeah. poetically on the record. I do not re-roll it, but mm-hmm. it's not super exciting. Yeah, it's, there's not a whole lot to it. I love it. We've already talked about spun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh yes. Okay, see, so as long as we've talked about spun, I feel like we're safe to move on. I'm, I'm scanning though, and have we had a, a syringe before this? We have. We've had the virus. Thank you. Um, so we've already talked about spun. I feel like this is everything. Um, one of the things about the show we talked about how we had this backlog. Mm-hmm. We have less of a backlog now. It's true. So we're, we're able to reactive. adjust more. We're more reactive. Um, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, boy. By bringing back a fan favorite segment. <gasps> Will, I want to bring back the KHC. Yay! Are it's, you ready? Yes, Gary. I can't okay. wait to talk about all my favorite characters. I can't wait to talk about well, Goofy and Pete and well, that's, Chip that's and Dale and Zehanort and Zemnis and Ansem and uh, Diz and Riku and Copy Riku uh, and uh, Heartless Riku and Sora and all Shut the... Shut up un- a second. This story tells of the fictional Kingdom Hospital located in Lewiston, Maine, built on the site of a mill that manufactured military uniforms during the American Civil War. And that has been the KHC. You motherfucker. You. Turnabout. <laughs> you motherfucker. You took something beautiful. and you shoved, And you shoved your dick in it. You shoved your armadillo dick in it. That's right. I know there's an armadillo in Kingdom Hospital. I remember the ads. I thought you knew I had an armadillo on my dick. Oof. Uh, too yeah, far. That's a, that's, a, that's a secret. Yeah. It's just a tattoo. You've just declared war, not just on me, but on the entire <laughs> Kingdom Hearts army. Well, you've just declared war on the Kingdom Hospital army, and I assume that it's haunted. Oh, so. shit. Oh, no. Ghosts. Yeah. Gut, gut, gut. Specters. How are you, you going to deal with that? Mm, well, if the webcomic Dr. McNinja taught me anything, it's that you can always beat up ghosts if you sing the Ghostbusters theme song while doing so. <laughs> I was not expecting that poll. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Welcome to Get my good, mind palace, good, Butterfield. Good Ninja Ninja Burger poll for next episode. Yeah. And then, uh, and then after that, let's get our hottest salad fingers memes out here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if people like the show, Will, what can they do? Uh, they can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and toss a little money in the big old money bin. Mm-hmm. The Screw. money pot. Oh, money pot is much more uh, colloquial and charming. Mm-hmm. Come on down to Duckfeed's money pot. Yeah, don't put your hand in unless it's full <laughs> of dollar bills. Pull up a quarter and join us. Did you say a quota or a quarter? <laughs> I'm one of Stephen King's old-time convenience store cloak characters. 
You see, I say cloak. Yep, cloak I'm, a, cloak. I'm a store cloak. I'm a, a, I'm a living pea. Like I'm on like a cape. I'm like you a put cape. Put me on while your brows. Cape fear. I, Stephen King didn't write that. <laughs> Nobody I reckon. Loves, he loves Maine. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs>